In this video, I will show you how to create character animations completely for free and pretty simply by using a new Adobe tool called Adobe Animate from Audio. Let's get started. So here I am on an Adobe website and I'll put a link to this in the description below the video. But I want you to see that I am not signed in to any Adobe account. I simply went to this web page, and you can also just search on Google or Bing to try to find this page. But once you get here, all you have to do is click Start Now, either here or here, to begin animating a character. Notice what it says, free use forever, no credit card required. I'll click Start Now, and it takes me into kind of a hidden corner of Adobe Express. If you're not familiar with Adobe Express, please watch my other videos on Adobe Express. It's a great tool, but this is one little corner of Adobe Express, and you don't really even need to have an account to access it. Notice what it's saying here. It wants to notify me. I don't want that, so I'm going to X out of it. And Animate from Audio is giving me just a random character that I'll be able to animate. If I don't particularly want to use this character, that's okay. I can go over here and choose a different character that I might want to use in my animation. And notice that there are categories. So I can click here to select, let's say, maybe professional people. I could choose this gentleman here. In addition to people, we do have some creatures to choose from. This one's kind of fun. There are different foods to use as well as animals. So you can just click and browse through the different categories to pick a character that you would like to animate. Now, during the last several months that this has been available for the public, Adobe has continued to add more and more characters, and so I wouldn't be surprised if that continues. Once you've selected your character, you can go here to Background and choose a background. There are many different ones to select. You can also pick Transparent. You could also upload your own image. So I could select, let's say, my school logo, and then I could position my character just by clicking on the character and moving him so that I can see the school logo in the background. In my case, though, I'm going to stick with just this spring clover background. Okay, so in addition to adding a character and moving the character around and choosing a background or uploading a background, we also have some size options for this animation. Right now, it's set to be a square animation but I could choose landscape if I want. And notice that these are all Instagram sizes. But if I click here, I can switch to Facebook. I could switch to YouTube. There's all of these different options to select from. I'm gonna stick with YouTube landscape, and then I can click and drag and put this gentleman exactly where I want him to be. Now that I've set up this scene the way I want it, I can now add my own voice to this animation. I can do that in one of two ways. I could click record and just right now record myself live talking, or I could click browse and look on my computer for a pre-recorded message. And that pre-recorded message could be what I make the character say. Either way you go, by browsing your computer or recording right now live a message, the character's mouth will match and sync with the words that you say. Now, not only that, but Adobe Animate from Audio uses artificial intelligence to help determine what the character does as your voice plays. So in addition to the mouth matching my voice and being synced to it, he's going to blink, he's going to move his arms around and move his head around a little bit, all depending on the inflection of my voice, the volume of my voice. If I am excited and animated in my voice, he will move around a little more and show some of that energy. If I'm very calm and relaxed, then that also will be reflected in the motions of this character. So pretty cool that it's got artificial intelligence built into it. Before I click record, notice that there is an enhance speech option that you can turn on or turn off. This enhance speech is particularly useful in the classroom, but it could be useful in other settings as well. And what it does is if there are ambient noises like people chatting or a fan that's running or a clock that's ticking, that's going to be taken out. And for the most part, only the voice of the person that's recording will be audible. It's pretty amazing. It's a wonderful tool, very powerful for getting rid of ambient noise that you don't want to be in your animation. In my case, I don't need it. So I'll leave it off and I'll click record. The first time I do this on a particular computer, I have to allow Adobe Animate from Audio to access my microphone. So I'm going to say allow on every visit. I click there and I get a countdown. Students, we've had a great first semester for this school year. Awesome, you did a great job. In this next semester, we're gonna be studying some amazing things, so I hope you're ready. To... Okay, I clicked done. Notice that there was a pause button. 
So if I needed to, I could have clicked pause and gathered myself, maybe uh, figured out what I was gonna say next and uh, catch my breath a little bit. So it is nice that you can pause and then restart if you need to. In my case, the message was short enough that I could just go with it until I was done. Okay, it looks like Animate From Audio has finished its work. It has synced my voice with this character. And let's look at the results. I'll click play. Students, we've had a great first semester for this school year. Awesome, you did a great job. In this next semester, we're gonna be studying some amazing things. So I hope you're ready to learn even more and grow and develop and have just a wonderful time doing it. Let's have a great second semester. Okay, that turned out fantastically. But you noticed, I hope, that he moved his arms around, he pointed, and all of that based on the inflection in my voice, the energy in my voice, and what Adobe Animate from Audio thought was the right time to have him point and move around. So this is great. If I'm happy with the result, I can simply click download. In this case though, I want to trim out just the very beginning and the very end of this video. So I can click here on this handle. You can see those two vertical lines. I can drag that to the left and that will trim out the last little bit of this video. I can do the same thing at the beginning, just to shorten it up and save a little time. So let's try it now. When I click play, students, we've had a... There's less wasted time at the beginning. If I click here toward the end, you'll notice, again, there's less wasted time at the end. So I'm happy with this. I'll click download. Now this is where we finally get to the one catch of using Adobe Animate from Audio. In order to download your animation, you do need to sign up for a completely free account with Adobe Express. And signing up gives you more than just the ability to download. You can also then edit what you've created in Adobe Express. So I'm gonna click sign up and it's going to load up a page for me that I can use to sign up for an account. Now I want to just sign up using my free Google account. So I'm gonna go here click on Google, I'll select my Google account, click continue, and Adobe Express is what it is, is signing me up for a free account, completely free. There are a few limitations with this completely free account, but it will enable me to continue to make animate from audio character animations completely free forever. Okay, I am now signed up for a free Adobe Express account, which includes Animate from Audio. It downloaded my animation to my computer, so I can X out of this. And if I go here, I'm in Google Chrome, and so the download folder is accessible here. But wherever your downloads folder is, you can go to it, click on the file, it opens up, and this is the full version of the animation that I've just made and downloaded. I can click play. Students, we've had a great first semester for this school year. Awesome. You can see it's really high quality, looks great, and this was all done completely for free. Now let's say, maybe I'm 90% happy with this, I could click here on Open in Adobe Express, and because I now have a free account, when I click Open in Adobe Express, it takes me in to some editing tools that I can use to enhance this animation. And I'm just gonna close out of this tour and this pop-up. I don't want notifications. I'll just X out of all of this stuff to get into this editor that will help me enhance this animation that I created with Adobe Animate from Audio. So even though I like the results here, I would like to add some text. So here at the left, I clicked on text and I'm just gonna select maybe a headline. How about this? And then I'll click on that headline, move it over here to the left. And then I'm just gonna double click where it says vegan gelato and that selects it and I'll change it to new semester. Maybe I'll put in three or four exclamation points and I'll click on organic and I'll just tap delete. I don't need that one there. I also don't need this small print that's underneath new semester. And I could even click to delete that orange bar. I can make this as big as I want it to be. Maybe I want to change the fill color for this text. I'll just make sure it's selected, go down here in this text bar that has popped up. I can click on fill color and I can make it darker or whatever I think would work better. So let's test it out now. I can click play down here by this timeline. So I'll just click play. Students, we've had a great first semester for the- So that's looking good. But what if I want new semester to pop up part way through my animation? Well, that's fine. What I could do for that is click on this button to show the layer timing, and then I'll click here on my text, and you can see that it's set to be shown during the whole animation clip. If I want to, I could make that so that it appears partway through. So now when I click play, Students, we've had a great first semester for this school year. It pops up at the appropriate time. I think that's pretty cool. I could also click on my text, and if I wanted to, I could add an animation to it so that it animates into the project. Maybe it moves to the right. That looks great in my opinion. I could have it loop and do something over and over and also animate out. I think I will add an out animation. So I'll have it drift out. 
And so now I think I'll be really happy with the results of this animation. Now, in addition to adding text to my character animation and making that text animated, there are many other things I could do. I could add some more media to my project. I could add images, graphics, cartoons, elements, shapes, all sorts of things. But for now, I'm happy with the results. So now I get another opportunity, if I want to, to download my project. I'll click download. I do get several options for the type of file that gets downloaded, but in this case, because it's an animation and it's got my voice as part of it, MP4 is by far the best option. I can change the resolution of the video if I want to, but I'm happy with HD. So I'll click download and this video is downloading, complete with my additions, my animated text and all of that. Okay, it's finished and it's downloaded to my downloads folder. I can now open it up and Students, see my project. Students, had a great first semester for this school year. Awesome, you did a great job. In this next semester, we're gonna be studying some amazing things. So I hope you're ready to learn even more and grow and develop and have just a wonderful time doing it. Let's have a great second semester. Okay, I'm really happy with that result. In addition to downloading, I could share this final animation in several different ways through social media, or I could just copy a link. If I want to make it so that anyone can click the link to see the video, I would have to click here and choose anyone with the link and then copy the link and then anyone with that link would be able to watch the video and make a comment on it. Now there are some time limits for how long your animate from audio animation can be. So don't expect to make a five minute recording on here. Um, they're fairly short, but I really love animate from audio. It's a fun and useful educational tool, but really it's for anyone. So I hope you'll check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to join me as a channel member. But you can also support me by clicking the thanks button or through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.